Okay. You've arrived in a world parallel to your own, a world that resides in the sky. However, it has gone dormant since the witch has arrived. The last words of the society have been marked down in the highest point of the house at the nest. So upstairs. The upstairs are in here. Right there. It's a nest. It's at the highest, but it's not the highest point. But it's a nest. Bring it down. No, I don't like the point? Stars. I was like, it said nest at the highest point, and I was like, well, that's obviously at the top of the house. And I, someone was reaching in the the, um, the 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 little vase with the egg. And I'm like, that's stupid. So I took Trenton, and we walked up. We walked up the steps. Our society has crumbled as the huntress has been sent by the puppet master and she has slaughtered us all. She wears our feathers as accessories and carries around a bow and arrow made to kill us in a single shot. She has murdered our leader, leaving our society in ruins. And by the time you have arrived, her, her along with the brewing civil war has most likely wiped out the entire population of our people, including myself. You must find the Phoenix Journal and re revive our once great leader. This journal is locked behind a riddle. I'm assuming... Is this the riddle? Uh, kind of hidden around the house. There's a riddle? Yeah. Okay, okay so hidden around the house are figures of various birds. Only one oh, of them is the true statue required for the nest. One of them will match the riddle given at the bottom of the note. When you think you have found the correct bird placed in the nest at the top of the stairs, if correct, the journal will be given to you. If wrong, one of you must make a sacrifice and have an automatic vote placed into the pot. So think carefully before you place the bird into the nest. Here's the riddle. I am one of two twins, and while my brother is fine to live a simple standing life, I seek to soar and spread my wings. I don't know how right. Which birds are which? Wait, I have to put the correct bird in? We had to find like, like birds around the house to find which one was right, and if, if no one, if the person like put it in wrong, then they're automatically in the death challenge, or the vote's in. Wait, I have to put the correct the chicken? There's the chicken oh downstairs. He's useless. He's absolutely useless. I would say. Can you read the riddle again? Can you read the riddle again? Um, I am one of two twins, and while my brother is fine, okay. I'm just going to sacrifice now, guys. A simple standing life. I seek to soar and spread my wings. I'm my twin. Oh, yeah, I'm my twin. Can you go with that big Yeah. Just like, yeah, get all the bird statues together. There's a chicken! Good job. Whenever we walked in to the living room, I saw the chicken. I was like, oh my god, there's a chicken. And I lifted it up. Not even giving a f about the challenges, and there was a note. I found it blue. Ooh. It's under my chicken. Okay. okay. What's the clue? Oh, there's a clue. Actually, yeah, found a hidden clue. Immunity time sa saver. You may share this information with a group or keep it to yourself. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I read it out loud. <laughs> So basically, I was walking with Anne, and then she, you know, she lifts up this chicken, and then there's a note, and she has the same immunity idol that I have, and I'm like... Basically, the note said, like, there was an immunity under a drawer or in the shelf, and I was trying to find it, to be honest, and it was not there. It was missing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> so, but those are both standing birds. I found these two. And those seem to both be standing birds. So, one, a simple life, one taking flight. Yeah, twins. Do the other ones differ? How do they differ? Do they differ at all? 
Chicken was one. So I think it Wait, might be this one, but I wouldn't. Mama's right 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 Guys, I'm ready to um, My brother might like a simple standing life, but I'm ready to take one. Wait, obviously, obviously this is it? Come yeah. on, I'll take one for the team and put it in. Can I slide it do you want to? Yeah, absolutely. Ha, it's, it's this one, obviously. Come on now. And I was able to prove myself yet again that I'm valuable. I was able to find birds that corresponded with the hints. And, you know, I was being a true team player. I was trying to help people find what they needed to find. Because, you know, if they didn't see me as valuable, as valuable before, I might as well make myself seem valuable now so that there's a lesser chance of me going into another challenge and dying sooner off, you know, sooner than later. Wait, this, if I put it in, I will stop. You'll get it, though, yeah. if you're wrong. If you're Are wrong. you serious? Yeah. Yeah. I said yes. There's a thing in there. Okay. So your name automatically gets they put in the <laughs> But when they found the bird, I was like, oh, no, that one. And I was going to put in the thing, and I was like, oh, Brooke, she, and then she was like, yeah, I got it. And then she, like, snatched it, kind of. Uh, there's a thing in there. Yeah. Ugh. And she popped it down and saved the day. Even though I was gonna do it, like I was gonna do it. Snatched it, all right, I guess. Doesn't matter. So, we were able to find what we needed. And then, challenges progressed from there. I've been sent by the, oh, by the puppet master. I see you got the riddle right, and so this is the book you need. The Phoenix Journal. Here but, we it is gonna co come with a cost. Yeah. So. By accepting this book, you are accepting in the Puppet Master's Curse, which will split you guys into two teams, and those two teams will last until you break the curse, meaning that if you go into two teams, and the losing team will, will be the only one sent to the council, and one of them will die, and there will be no death challenge. Can we deny? Meaning that the person with the most points will be killed journal. right there and then. No thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. door is right So, if you accept this journal, which, I mean, if you don't, you're going to be stuck here forever, okay. so you really don't have a choice. But if you take it, it'll split you guys into two groups, <laughs> one most spiritual, and, and an immunity challenge. Instead of all of you fighting for yourselves, you will fight as two teams, and the losing team will go to the council, where instead of a death challenge being voted into a death challenge, the, person, the single person with the most votes will be killed outright. I'll take the journal. Well, speak and for yourself. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so hear me out. We're just stuck in the sky. Oh, wow. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. The, the, two teams that the, the two teams that reside in this book. You'll find out as soon as you take them. I pass it up. Do you want to? I want to see first. You want to see first? Oh, wait, we're here forever. Are you a Hmm. After the death of the great leader, our society split into a civil war emerged as one side was focused on the legacy of the fallen leader and one side was focused on judgment and revenge for those who killed. So good at reading. The two birds pictured. <laughs> that was Sorry. Sorry. The two birds pictured were the faces of the sides of the civil war and they died in conflict. To bring back the phoenix, the civil war must fully come to an end, so you will split yourselves and partake in a battle that will end the war. The losing team will be up for elimination, only they will go to voting. The person with the most votes will be killed. As for the teams, you have each been assigned into one of the teams based on how you play this game. These teams will remain the same until you are able to break the Puppet Master's curse. So, how about I give you, how about I tell you what the teams are? Right. So, uh, come down here. I know. This <laughs> team, I smell good. Yeah. So you can get that around. Alright. These teams will remain then not be able to help you in the next round. Whenever you're going and choosing who to die, who you're going to kill, just remember that each person you're taking out is someone who will then not be able to help you in the next challenge. So if you kill someone from your team that's a really good player, that's going to be harder for you to win the next challenge. So, Wait, bless you. See, there's two challenges? There's like it's, it's until the curse is broken. You never know when that could be. So, we have Team Legacy and Team Judgment. On Team Legacy, we have Shannon. Annika, Joanna, Abigail, and Paris. Oh, that was a plot twist. Again, I was glad Joanna was on my team. And on Team Judgment, we have Allison, Trenton, Brooke, Ale Alexis, and Anne. No, but that was a, that was kind of, I was just really glad I wasn't on Brooke's team. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that would have been, that would have been the worst thing ever. Um, but no, like, it was fine. So on the Legacy team, I really was like, okay, we are a great group. We're going to get through this no matter what. Okay, well, had Abby in it. Come on now. Um, and Shannon. Shannon's a sweetheart. Um, Annika. Annika. Me and Annika are pretty close. Um, a little bit of strain there, but nonetheless. 
Attica, um, and Paris. Paris, well, first of all, it was a good team. I liked it, yeah. So I was kind of disappointed in my team. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it would be a lie, I said. I love them with the entirety of my heart. So, allow me to tell you what your group challenge is going to be, or your first team challenge. You're both going to head out back, and you'll be tasked with eating bugs. <gasps> oh my yeah! god! Yeah! Oh my god, I'm right? down! Right? I'm not done. This is because, this is because to, you are blending in as bird warriors, so it's time to eat like that. I already got so the you'll feather. go outside, and you'll eat the bugs. Art, art. I have been waiting for this all day. No, oh, okay. Imagine. Imagine. Just give me now, honestly. Can we have Team Legacy over here and Team Judgment over here? Oh, surprise. I'm on the judgment. <laughs> This is such a shocking Wait, revelation. I want to So now, everyone listen up. You must choose three different people who will eat bugs for your team. Two of you will sit out and not eat anything. It's going to have to be I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Okay. And especially since, like, it's a more of bugs and I was like, Paris. Paris is going to nail this. And I didn't know about the rest of us because I was, I wasn't going to. I, I don't know. It just wasn't something that I could do. Yeah, I was separate from Shannon. I was kind of glad about that one because she's veg vegetarian, and I knew she wasn't gonna eat anything. I'm like, Wait, oh my god. Like, really? Yeah. Uh, okay. You, you guys have to select. Yeah, fine. If you, if you don't like it, no, 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 so, I didn't want, okay, well, Shannon didn't want to do it because she's a vegetarian and she's like, I don't know if, that's ca if this counts. And we were like, even if it like doesn't or if it does, like we just think we should sit this one out. So we like all collectively like, decided, we were like, okay, Shannon's not going to do this. I'll fuck, I'll fuck it up, I don't care. I'll eat. None of these are alive. No, no, they're, they're all, all dead. dead. They're all dead. Okay. I would rather die than eat a bug. Well, no, honestly, if they were candy, I'd eat it, but still. I'm not going to do it. And then it was between me and Abby, and Abby was being a big butt, a big butt, and she wouldn't, she didn't want to do it, but I was like, I don't want to do it. Okay. So we had to do, um, rock, paper, scissors, <laughs> and I lost. So upset, so upset. Well, <laughs> at first I thought it's gonna be like mealworms or something like that, and I don't know if I would have actually eaten those, but um, maybe. When you finish, take oh, no. it off and sit on your chair to mark that you finished. Okay. You won't get water until after you finish. Yeah, okay. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Do not touch it yet. Yeah. Don't touch it yet. Don't touch it yet. Run. Ready, set, go. So I'm like prepared for like grasshoppers, crickets, a tarantula. Now. Oh my god! Yo, this thing is bigger than I thought. I got ants. I would have rather ate anything but the ants. They were moist and they were zesty. It was weird. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, no. But then seeing, I wasn't sure what it was at first, but seeing this big insect and like I tried to pick it out of the bag and I was like so shocked by it that I threw it away. <laughs> and it landed in front of Joanna. Ew, 
Ooh, all right. That, like, I didn't even eat them, and I was almost puking. And had the scorpion, Brooke had the ants, and I had the tarantula. Oh, come on. Ooh. Oh, 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 over and Paris was like just devouring her plate. She was like licking it all up. She was just having the time of her life. So disgusting. I literally couldn't, as soon as I saw it, started gagging and I was like, you know what? I just have to like not focus on it. It'll be fine. Ended up throwing up. I watch it. It was really watching Paris just down ants like it was cereal. Like it was just rah, like it was cereal. <laughs> Ooh, anyway. We'll admit, as soon as I put it in my mouth, the idea of eating a tarantula kind of hit me for a second, and my brain knew that, and I was about to gag and throw it up, but... And Harry, you got this. Just eat it all. Just eat it all. And eat it all. And I was like, guys, this isn't French fries. We're not like munching down like French. Like, they were just munching them like it was nothing. And it would confuse me that you're munching bugs like it's food and thinking nothing of it. Like she they didn't even like hesitate, like, oh, what does this taste like? What is it? Like that. When I just just took me. I was like, you made a beef. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's okay if you don't want to. Like, I'm not gonna eat it. Oh my god. And sit. Anybody, if you want to eat it? And I was putting it then on my plate and, and I saw it and I was picking the leg up and oh it was just disgusting and I could not have done it. And the scorpion was kinda ass. Like I thought it was gonna be meatier, but no it's gonna be like giving me a shell like shells, basically. Alright, but Eat, just eat all of it, eat all of it. And we have a winner, and it is not. Oh my god! Oh my god. Actually, that tasted kind of good. So, this is my second time in a row being immune, and I'm just like, you know, I feel like everyone now is gonna start looking at me like I'm competition because I am. Oh, the bugs. Now, that was a good turn. Uh, it was quite fun. Uh, I, en I actually enjoyed it much more than I. Uh, what most people would have expected. I think, I think I was less focused on her immunity and more focused on, dang, I gotta pick somebody from my team now. And my team's now gay. So it was kinda... I just, I knew I was gonna eat it. I had a tarantula, I'm not gonna eat it. Come on now. Oh my god! Oh, guys! I did not eat it. Sorry. I ate the <laughs> When we lost, I was a little bit upset, but at the same time, I didn't, I didn't want them to feel pressured because we didn't eat anything. Like I wasn't up into it. I didn't know if it, I was like allowed to, but I, I know I couldn't have, so I didn't expect them to. Also, I mean, I was like so proud of Paris. She's such, she's such a strong willed person, and she did that really well. Everyone, gather around. Before we go to the voting. There's one more little twist. Now, if three of you on your team agree, you can agree to send one and trade them over to that team, putting them in danger, but saving one from that, but saving one from that I'm side. I'm not going to eat bugs, man. Three of you must agree to it. Oh wait, no, yeah. What was this? Bugs. What was this? Bugs. 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 Okay, basically there was a whole thing about switching somebody to the other team to die. But I didn't want to get yelled at by this drama queen. So, <clears throat> I just didn't say anything. I wanted to get, you know, you know who. The pink bitch. No, we don't. So you're not going to trade anyone? You guys really like trying? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk right now. Shut up. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Right. Can we get Wilder now, please? Yeah, please. Yeah.
I okay. have ant legs in my mouth. You're going to go to the trial <laughs> very soon. <laughs> That's fine! <laughs> Wait, where's the tarantula? Over there. Wait, is this still there? Yeah. yeah. You are not a <laughs> Yeah, it was actually pretty good. And then, and then, not to mention, they start eating them like it's a joke. They start eating the bugs like it's a joke. They're like, oh, let's try the tarantula. I'm like, no, you didn't. You don't have to. They're like, oh no, we're gonna try. I'm like, no, you don't have to. Oh my God, hold give it, me a hold it. Can I hold it? It was actually pretty good. It yeah, it wasn't actually bad, um, that bad. This isn't terrible. It's not good, but it's not terrible. It kind of tastes like a chip that got like burnt with hair. Like the idea of eating a tarantula at first made me a little bit nauseous, but that's about it. I want to hold it. Oh. Hold it. I'm gonna. It makes you want? Hey, do you want? How, do they, how do they preserve it? Like, how would they know it's like safe? That is genuinely not bad. Wait, the scorpion actually isn't too bad either. Okay, so are you guys ready to do this again? So. As we know, we have Joanna, Abigail, Paris, Hanuka, and Shannon on the topic block. Because they did not eat the bugs. So only they will be voting, and one of them will be sent home. I mean, not sent home, they'll be killed. <laughs> but unfortunately, I was teammates with um, a vegetarian and cowards. I understood the vegetarian, and Joanna, she looked like a little, uh, But um, the other two could have scarfed something down. I scarfed ants down. Not my proudest moment. Still scarfed them down. So I was the only one on my team to complete the challenge to its entirety. So does anyone have anything they just want to start off with? Does anyone have anything they want to get off their chest? For Annika. Like, bless her, but she hadn't done much in any of the challenges. She was just kind of standing there, you know? Like, get rid of the statue all you can. I really hate you. <laughs> I think you guys really should have gave the trench. I love it. It was kind of tasty. What about like bugs? Like no candy? Not even candy bugs? Yeah, I hate to say that everybody hates bugs. And that just took me off guard. It's like you didn't even chose to eat the bugs. Anyway. I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> well, well good thing so. you know. The best part is I have braces, so I have extra for later. Oh, that's it. Oh, that one was actually. Yeah, that one was actually. That's like took it too far. And that's Alexis. So again, he's like, is on my gang, but like, is he on my gang? Cause he wants to eat a tarantula for fun. So it's like gang, but I don't know, man. It's no longer my gang. It's just us. Just us two actually. I was hoping I'd be like one person taking it for the team. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's act, okay, so let's let's really get into this now. So, Abigail, um, it's I've been a known fact that you, Joanna, Alexis, you kind of have been on the outside of the group. And now when you're looking at your team, there's three of them and two of you. Does that scare you at all? Okay. <laughs> So, Annika, um, seeing as you and Shannon and all of them have kind of seemed to to go along together a lot of times, do does that still hold up? Are you, are you seeing Abigail and Joanna as the ones on the outside in your little team? Well, maybe kind of a little. Oh my gosh! See, just when I said, just when I said that you kissed, they kissed. Oh, mm, yeah, Annika. Oh, mm, I hate to say it. Okay, so Annika, you are not coming out of nowhere. And that's because when I said we were gang and then she somehow pops out, I don't even know what she said, but it was something like, oh, but you did this. Annika was like, there is like a barrier there, and we were like, um, and then uh, Abby was like, so, she like wanted to retract her statement, she was like, we're not gonna like do a line to sound like Abigail, we wanna win, you know, we have to be on people's good side, it's like true, true. Never, we're never going to get anybody to again. They, they tried it. I was like, no, look, I was literally talking to Joanna. I'd be like, should we vote Annika instead? Thinking about, like, you were in a group with them and then saying, one of us has to go. Even though there's this barrier now. I mean, of course the person who didn't do much said it. Um, you know. I guess if you watch from the background enough, you think you can have an opinion on something. And I was like, how are you gonna just say this now? Like I didn't even think I thought she was unproblematic like Shannon. 
And I want to find out that she's not unproblematic. And I was like, what, how are you just going to pop out of nowhere and say this? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. You know what I mean? So that caught me off guard. So Paris, you're kind of in the middle of it. Yeah. So you're kind of you're kind of like the deciding vote. Because like. if, if if there's two that are gonna vote against them, those two are gonna vote against them. You're the one who come, who comes down to it and breaks the tie. I I was I I didn't think she was one of those people in them groups. Like I thought she was one of the outsiders too. <laughs> just kind of fitting in wherever she fits in. And I found out she is in this group and that we're some like we're some separate group. Like we're not friends. I was like, are we not all friends? It's crazy that we're not all friends. Just. So, do you have, without revealing what you're planning on doing, do you have anything to say? Except Joanna. Except Joanna. Joanna? Realistically, even if they ate the club, it's like, it's a matter of days. Yeah. I was the first one done on everyone, man. Like, I, and I'm happy. She was really like, eat the bugs while she was done. And it was gross. Yeah. yeah. So, Brooke, you have you were kind of a big target at first, but now you've had immunity multiple times in a row. So, how is that making you feel? I wouldn't say it's making me feel any type of way, besides the fact that I think now they know that I'm in competition and I'm not gonna go home as easily as I thought I would. I mean, die. Why are you looking at you, Abby? Yeah. You know, the camera see that? <laughs> and you're right. So after after this, there's going to be only nine left. And also, one thing to talk to you guys about is it, when going up there, because you know that, like we, we talked about, how it seems like there's two sides. But when you think when you think about it, also you have to remember that there is the, the curse is still going on, which means that there will be at least one more team challenge, if not more. Are you guys going to vote based on based on like I said, past alliances? Or are you going to vote on what's the best for our team as a whole to go forward? Yeah. Since we have more of the team challenges, it's a more of a get rid of the weakest link kind of thing because you don't want to be like putting your all out there and then you have that one person who just doesn't do anything and then you're on the chopping block because that isn't fair to you or the other people who actually accomplished what needed to be done. Yeah, if you vote me, I'm coming before you. They better not vote me out. God, I was the most, you know, valuable one. I ate the ants. I scarfed them down. I cleaned my plate. Paris. But she did, she was the only one who ate bugs, so it would have been a dick ass move to just not vote her. That would have been so rude. Abby, of course, I'm not gonna vote for Abby. Annika. I, it was literally between Annika and Shannon. I downed a plate of ants. Well, are you guys ready to vote? No. Unfortunately, yeah. Wait, you can come up again. There was something else I could do. That was the worst experience of my life, just to let you know. Did I do shit? No. But... Dear to my heart. So, are you guys all ready? The first vote, Shannon. So, when I knew that we lost, um, knowing that one of us had to go, I, I didn't want them to go. Like, honestly, they are all amazing. The second vote, Shannon. Third vote, Shannon. Okay. <laughs> and they're all interesting, and they all bring bring so much like livelihood to everything. So it was more like one of us has to go. Why not volunteer so they, so they don't have the they don't have the stress of choosing somebody. Vote Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, and Shannon. Meaning that it was unanimous. And overall I came here just to save people to see my sister which I did see and it was awesome when it lasted so if if they can just last a little bit longer I'll be happy. You're about to get taken away and I think we all can guess what's gonna happen but considering you sacrificed yourself we thought we would give you a nice death. At least as pain as possible. Thank you for your sash
I felt really defeated whenever I was getting seeing chance votes get put in. Um, I mean, I came back and now she's like I'm losing her again. So, and I know she lost me, but now this time I'm losing her. So, it was it was really it was really hard. But I knew I couldn't do anything because if I interfered, then I would have been taken too. And like then, so now my motive for the, this whole competition is winning for her, and I want to do everything for her now. Yeah, she came here to save me, so I'm going to do the exact same thing for her. I'm going to, I mean, she risked her life, I'm risking my life too. The baby of the group, the queen. I was really sad whenever she left. I was just sad. That was sad. I heartbroken. I love Shannon. She's so unproblematic. So, Shannon votes herself and sacrifices herself to them, and honestly, I'm just really upset to see her go because there were people in that group that should have gone before she did, but, you know, they're still here, but... Shannon's so sweet, but her death wasn't awful. She, she walked out peacefully. We don't know what happened after that, though. Um, but, yeah, it was nice of her to sacrifice herself. That was very sad because she was always like, are we going to vote for that per?" or we were always like, are we going to vote for that person and like talking with each other and like having that or not having her anymore, like as a friend next to me in this whole competition, um, it's going to be hard, it's going to be very hard.